Hey yo, what's good? Index here. And today I was going through my channel, and there's this video I did a couple months ago, and it was really doing well. And I noticed you might like want to see a follow up on that. And I did some research, and here are some tips and tricks to fix the annoying Windows not responding tab. So let's get started. So basically, I'll be showing you a quick and easy way to reduce the app closing by going through your settings to your priority settings in your tax manager. And this is a simple but yet an effective way to ensure that your apps run smoothly and don't get cut off in the middle of important tasks like making a fire beats and stuff like that. Now, first of all, at a point, we all got to experience the Windows not responding to something like this, which is quite annoying, of course. It's always, always as an issue of having a PC with um, low processing power, not a rough RAM or storage stuff. But most times, it's always about your CPU capabilities. And I notice most of us here on this channel we use budget PCs. I know there are a few of us are using powerful systems and stuff, PCs and stuff. I'm gonna generalize this. Let's get into it. So, anytime you get this pop up, uh, this Windows not responding pop up, simply put on control shift and look over to the left side because you will see um what i'm doing put on control shift and escape and it brings up the task manager and you see the bunch of apps running in the background that once you open by yourself and as you can see this, this is the alpha studio i mean this is the one with my screen in this is the one i'm using this i'm using to record these vocals and this is my screen recorder and this is my task manager and this is the windows explorer so if you notice an app is not responding it should show by it's by the side here app not responding so all you can simply do is go on to this end task and click on it to terminate it instantly without having to ask you any annoying questions so it's terminating instantly and allow your pc to run freely again and so once you've opened the application and you notice you want to do something heavy right click on it go to details and you can see the application right click on it i written in the, first, in the former video i did i talked about certain affinity and these are the cpu um calls the processors running now that i have i always advise to untick one and click on ok these are the processors allowed to run the application so coming to what we're talking about go to priority and as you can see i already said this alpha studio um has real time here yeah, and there are like five six options here so basically you have the low and these are for low demanding applications applications that need less resources to run and you have the below normal almost the same thing with the low and you have the normal because basically when you open this for the first time it should be a normal and most times your pc kind of like tries to figure out what it is and sometimes it keeps it at above normal but i, I usually like keeping mine in high or real time especially fs studio and you can do this to um any apps out there any gpu cpu demanding apps like pro tools ableton cubase premiere pro and all the rest of the apps like that needs lots of resources to run so and mind you when doing this make sure that there are less applications running in the background so your pc can use all the resources it has to run that application and leave, thereby leaving less resources for others so for me if you have a low cpu a low budget pc you don't if you turn on real time for a particular application don't do it in the next one maybe in the next one do it above normal or normal and simple as that because when you keep two applications in real time and they demand more resources to run each of them tries to outrun the others thereby crashing both of them or crashing an important project you're working on basically I advise keeping this in real time for one application at a time and if i'm to keep this in high or any other one also you always see this pop up by the task manager I tell you ask you if you want to change the priority of the said application and also saying changing the priority of certain processes can cause system instability and game just like i said earlier and the other applications if you i don't have anything to do like this windows explorer i don't think it has a much chance to do so as you can see by default it's a normal like i just turn it on to low or blue normal it doesn't have much um going on so yeah that's basically it and you can enjoy making your projects your fire projects without having any issues or stuff 
So yeah, until next time, if you like this video, make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit on the not bell notification icon so you can get in my videos anytime I drop them. And make sure to share this video so people feel like I need this video for the system. I'm having the same issues. And I was having these issues all the time and I kind of like figured out this. I had to experiment on my own. Just like FS Studio, most of the FS Studio knowledge I have now, I experiment over the years. And it's like, say, five years of producing. Oh wait, I almost forgot, we're already in the new year, so it's like six years I've been producing. And most of the things I did, I knew I I know about FS Studio, I like self-taught. And when you, when you experiment and find out how to fix something by yourself, you, you find like that stuff sticks to you, sticks with you, until whatever you decide to let it go. You get me? So until next time, peace out.